um, my rank was around 136 and i got 99.9917 percentile one wow. main <laughs> iit is one of the best experiences and i think it was very much worth it getting into an iit so hi path oh, welcome to my channel uh, thank you so much for agreeing for this interview thank you. So before Thank we get you. started, I, I'd really like to congratulate you for making it to IIT Delhi, which in itself is a huge achievement because all of us know how difficult it is to get into an IIT. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much. So before we uh, get uh, started into everything, uh, can you first of all, let us know about yourself? Can you introduce yourself? So uh, I'm Pat Shah. Uh, I'm from Gujarat and currently I'm in first year in IIT Delhi computer science and uh, I just ended first year in from IIT Delhi computer science. I got all India rank 76 in JW advance wow. and I have a few hobbies like music and sports. Okay. Amazing. So yeah so before we get started when did you have this realization or from when did you decide that you wanted to do engineering so uh, when i was in eighth standard i started to do a little bit maths uh, for prm and rmos and mtc uh, mm -hmm. then i started to get a little bit of hint that i was more inclined towards math then when i studied biology and maths both in a lot more detail in class 10 i was sure that i wanted to go with math uh, until 12th i was not sure if i was going to do engineering or just basic sciences so yeah. in 12th during the lockdown i tend to uh, try out almost all the branches and mm -hmm. i found out computer science was my main interest okay amazing yeah uh and did you go to any coaching classes for the j examination and if yes which classes did you go to so i was in ln up to 10th so 8 9 10th in ln then 11 12th in both her classes which is in Ahmedabad. uh and do you think for example if you actually had not gone to coaching for example you decided that i'd be studying for the j on my own do you think you would have been this successful or the coaching classes actually played a huge role in your rank so uh, when i was in eight we have no idea what uh, jw advance or anything was so yeah. i started to know about that when i was in it so it kind of helped me uh, start preparing from an earlier stage so i i think i would have done good but not this good mm -hmm. without a coaching um and you know for your coaching classes or when someone is doing uh preparing for the je which is a really difficult examinations your daily routine might be very hectic and you might be devoting a lot of your hours into studying so can you let our viewers know what your typical daily routine was like when you were studying for the je so uh a general day when i was not at school it was mm -hmm. mainly like uh, i I like to study at the coaching. So uh, I woke up at 8, the close, the coaching opened at 8.30. So I reached there at 8.30 mm -hmm. uh, and I, I used to study entire day over there. Uh, there used to be classes for four, four and a half hours and uh, in, in during the day. Then seven mm -hmm. at 7.30, I came back. Uh, at 7.30, my parents came to pick me. So I was back at home by about 8. And then I used to it, study for two more hours and then go to sleep. Wow, that was really, really a hectic day, right? And what about the weekends during Saturdays and Sundays? Uh, Saturdays were usually the same as I said. Uh, Sundays, uh, the coaching was, uh, the coaching used to be off for half day. So mm -hmm. I used to study at home. Um, I divided my hours according to the work I needed to do in 
all the three subjects and it was mainly 10 to 12 hours study during sundays also but generally we used to have test during sundays every sunday okay, okay. so so ma- majority of the time used to be spent in analyzing the test and the answers mm-hmm. so now suppose in student who is in 11th standard let's say is starting to prepare for je so do you have any advice with specific subjects for example for physics what should the student be doing for maths what he should be doing and for chemistry what are some tips that you'll give to the students who are currently who don't have any idea who are for the first time starting to prepare for je and are now in 11th standard so uh, if you are starting to prepare and if you are going to a coaching then you should trust your teachers they have probably seen better mm-hmm. students and they have guided many so if you are in a coaching you should trust your teachers and you would get a lot of times get a lot of time and you could solve a lot of papers so that would be very beneficial if you start to study at home mm-hmm. then i would uh, like to suggest you that uh, you first give your time on uh, each subject individually and then try to find out what is your main interest and uh, use that uh, use your skills like uh, mm-hmm. someone can uh, study very fast but he is slow at solving or yeah. someone is good at uh, remembering things but uh, cannot you know uh, cannot find uh, different types of solutions mm-hmm. so you need to first find what you are good at and then study accordingly thank you so for you personally which subject out of these three so je has pcm which subject from these three uh, did you find really difficult and you did not actually like studying for that subject or did you like all of them equally no uh, i like math very much so yes. i i studied a lot of math in 10th mainly for olympiad so which is kind of different than what we have in uh, jw advance but it helped me but uh, i didn't like to study inorganic chemistry and i like and i like to study organic but i did, uh, did not used to get good grades in it good marks in it so uh chemistry was a little bit tough for me so i used to work hard on that spend less time on maths and oh uh, and one more thing if you were allowed to change one thing about the ja examination if you are asked that you can change one thing in the examination what would you change i think for uh uh jw the advance i like jw the advance the way it is um, i think i could increase the weightage of maths <laughs> but in jw mains uh it would be good if less theoretical questions were asked from mm-hmm. chapters which we can't learn all like environmental chemistry and all yeah chemistry in everyday life and the okay, chemistry was always tough for me <laughs> and uh one more thing uh, uh what was your rank in j mains so what was your percentage in ranks in j mains um uh, my rank was around 136 and i got 99.9917 percentile one wow. mains <laughs> and while you when you started preparing when did you think that it was it is a real possibility then that i can get into iits because personally many people when they are starting to study for je they think that iit mere liye nahi hai itna nahi ho payega i won't be able to i won't be able to study at the level of iit advance which is really a tough examination so when did you see it as a possibility that i can actually get a really good rank from oh, in in the je uh and up to 10th standard i had no goal for jw advance i just wanted to do better than uh what i could for, for by olympiads or anything so mm-hmm. when i went in 12, 11th standard i saw what the competition was how many people wanted to get into iits 
Yeah. So uh, then I started preparing in a coaching institute. Their teachers, uh, the teachers were, uh, the teachers knew what a student could do at his or her level and what he can do to improve himself. So they suggested that I could do a lot better. So yeah. I tried and they had a few uh, people who got a very great, greater rank than me. Mm-hmm. So they knew I could do uh, very good. So they suggested me what should I do and all. So uh, I got the hint from the teachers. Uh, yeah. You need to have a reference to know whether you are going good or not. So mm-hmm. mainly it's the teachers who can give you that hint. Amazing. And apart from J, apart from the engineering entrance test, what other entrance examinations did you give? Because there are tons of entrance examinations. You have KVP and many different. So apart from J, which other examinations did you give? So I gave uh, KVP in 11th and 12th. Uh, I registered for bits, but I was getting into triple IT Hyderabad earlier, so I did not give bits. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, I changed me mains occurred a bit earlier, so yeah. I registered for a few exams, but I did not attend in any because uh, I got okay. good ranking first mains. Okay. So now let's jump to a little touchy subject, subject, which is what is, how much does a year at IIT cost? Because many people don't actually have an idea about this, that how, what are the fees at IITs and how much does it realistically cost, including your living expenses and everything. So currently in the lockdown, it's just a semi- semester yeah. fees are like around one, one lakh 20,000, one lakh 25,000. Okay. I don't know about the hostel fees, but uh, according to what I know, it's around twenty to thirty thousand per year. I'm not sure, but it's. Oh yeah, so you've uh-huh. uh, until now you've only been doing online classes, right? Yes. So, if you don't mind, how was your experience in this one year at IIT? Even though it was online, was how was the teaching and how was your overall experience at uh, learning IIT from online? So uh, I can't say that it was the best I could have, but yeah. uh, 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 the subjects were good. Uh, the teachers were very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, I could also feel that the teachers were not uh, very happy teaching online. But uh, I, I got to know a lot of good people in the clubs and different clubs. You have mm-hmm. different clubs. You can start your interest from their first year. So uh, it was very good. Uh, if uh, whatever whatever I wanted to do, I did in the first year. So, and the subjects were in pretty detail. So uh, I like computer science, maths, and all. Yeah, I liked a little bit of quantum uh, um, electromagnet. And so uh, it, it was like whatever you want to study, you can study in a lot of detail and you just have to study basic sciences for a small amount of time until you pass your first year. Amazing. And do you think that all the hard work that you put in across all these years when you were preparing for, for getting into an IIT institution, do you think all that hard work was worth where you are right now? It was worth it. IIT is one of the best experiences and I think it was very much worth it getting into an IIT. Uh, the branch does not matter much, but uh, if you get into an IIT, you get to do a lot of stuff. I don't know about other institutes, yeah. but uh, I think it was worth the hard work I did. And now let's, I don't know if you have yet decided, but what are your future plans? For example, after you graduate from IIT after four years, after that, what what are your plans in stake for future? Or have you not decided anything yet? I haven't decided yet, but I know I would be doing something related to computer science itself. Okay. So, and how is the competition at IIT right now? So, because at IIT, of course, all the brilliant minds from across India are going to be in the same class. So the competition 
in iit itself is going to be really very tough so what do you think right now because exams and all would have been done some of them in the year so how is the competition generally at where you are standing right now the competition is very tough for uh, in iit uh, so for me uh, i just have to uh, I, uh, there are people who want to uh, change their branches and get into some other branch so they have to study a lot mm-hmm. so they give you a very tough competition so uh it's easy uh, it's uh, very difficult to get a 10 grade in any mm-hmm. subject so yeah in, even in first year we have very good competition okay so that's it from my end path do you have any final advice for students who are preparing to get into an iit any any normal fi- fi- formal advice final so according to what i saw what i did myself and what i saw from my friends i think i can suggest that uh in this two years you need to do a lot of experimenting so uh and that could be done by solving a lot of papers so you know to experiment uh, what uh, what you solve first like uh, where do you start solving the paper what is your speed mm-hmm. you have six ways of solving the paper in subject wise and mm-hmm. you can also solve mcqs and inti- uh, an integer uh, numerical questions differently so yeah. uh, you need to solve hundreds of papers if not uh, um, more i can only suggest that you need to know what you are very good at and mm-hmm. that could be done only by experimenting thank you so much for your valuable advice so thank you parth for uh, being here uh, and agreeing for this conversation thank i really wish thank all the for best me. for your future as well because without doubt it's thank going you, to be really bright all the best thank you so much thank you thank you